Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here, and so this lesson is comparing and ordering rational numbers. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at this website, MrMathBlog.com. Let's go to that site real quick. Here's Mr. MathBlog, and then so you see I teach at a high school, you guys, so there's lots of uh, classes here. So we're in sixth grade right here. Make sure you pick the sixth grade one that says CA for California, and when you pick that right here and you scroll down, you'll find uh, that lesson right here, okay? So when you click that link, it'll... It'll take you to this uh, video and then the rest of your classes we get going. So how do we uh, compare and order rational numbers? So here we go. So fractions and decimals that represent the same value are equivalent fractions or decimals. So the number line shows some equivalent fractions and decimals from 0 to 1. So here's 0 right here. Here's 1 right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, complete the number line by writing the missing decimals or fractions. Let's do the decimals first. So here's 0. Here's 0 0.2. So this must be 0 0.1. Okay, so there's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. This would be 0 0.5. This is 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Okay, all right, now down here for the fractions right here, this is one-tenth and this is three-tenths, so this is going to be two-tenths, and let's reduce two-tenths, you guys. Two-tenths, if we divided two divided by two and ten divided by two, would give us one-fifth right here. So here's one-tenth, here's two-tenths, here's three-tenths, this is four-tenths, reduced is two-fifths, this is five-tenths, reduced, this is six-tenths, reduced, so this will be seven-tenths right there, okay? All right, and then so there it is completed right there. So let's go ahead and use the number line to find a fraction that is equivalent to uh, 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 0 0.25. Okay, so here's 0 0.2, here's 0 0.3, so right in the middle right here would be 0 0.25. And probably you already knew, or many of you already knew, that one-fourth is the same as 0 0.25 right there, okay? So they both represent the point that's halfway between 0.2 and 0.3 right there, okay? All right, so explain how to find a, a decimal that's equivalent to 1 and 7 tenths. Okay, well, this only goes to 1 right here, but we can just think of, well, 1 and 7 tenths is the same as 1 plus 7 tenths, okay? 1 and 7 tenths is 1 plus 7 tenths, and 7 tenths... 7 tenths is uh, 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 0 0.7 right there. So um, if we use that for 1 plus 7 tenths is 1 plus 0 0.7, then it's going to equal 1.7. So 1 and 7 tenths is the same as 1.7 right there. Let's go back to that real quick. Decimal place value, this is in the tenths spot. So this says 1 and 7 tenths right there. Okay, any decimal. The decimal uh, represents the word and. So 1 and 7 tenths, because 7 ends in the tenths spot right there. All right, so we're going to use the number line to complete. So uh, 0.2, what's 0.2 equal to? 0.2 equals 1 fifth right there, okay? All right, and then which uh, decimal equals 3 tenths? Okay, 3 tenths equals that 0.3 right there, okay? In fact, let's go here. This is in the... Uh, the decimal, this is in the tenths spot, so this is 3 tenths. 0.75, well 0.75 is halfway between 0.7 and 0.8, so it's right there. So 0.75 is that 3 fourths right there. And 1.25, well 0.25 is 1 fourth, so 1.25 is going to be 1 and 1 fourth right there, okay? All right, so how does the number line represent equivalent fractions and decimals? Well, uh, a decimal and a fraction that represents the same point on the number line are equivalent. So 0.1 is the same as 1 tenth. 0.2 is the same as 2 tenths or 1 fifth. Okay, 0.25 is 1 fourth. Okay, so they represent, name a, a decimal and a, a decimal point that's between 4 and, or 0.4 and 0.5. All right, well, the most obvious one is uh, 0.45, you guys, but there's actually infinitely many decimals in between there. You know, here's a few examples, 0 0.41, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, 0 0.49, or we can go 0 0.441, 0 0.4001, 0 0.40001, 0 0.00001, anyways. 
So um, we can order fractions and decimals by rewriting the fractions as decimals or by rewriting the decimals as fractions. And then we can just use our number line so to order them from least to greatest. So here, let's order all these numbers from least to greatest. Well, one way is to do this. We can write the fractions as decimals and then make them all decimals right here. Okay, so one-fourth will change to a decimal. Well, we already know what that is. That's 0.25. We probably already know what that is. That's 0.45. But to change a fraction to a decimal, we divide the bottom number into the top. So here I have 4 goes into 3.00. Well, 4 goes into 3 zero times, so we bring down the next number. 4 goes into 30 seven times, and 4 times 7 is 28. Then we subtract 30 minus 28 is 2. Then we slide that zero down, and we do it one more time. 4 goes into 20 five times, and so... 3 fourths is equal to 0.75, and many of you guys already knew that. And then what we're going to do is um, uh, place those numbers on the number line right there, okay? So let's go ahead and place uh, 0.2 on the number line. There it is right there, 0.2. Okay, we'll pr place uh, 3 fourths on the number line. Remember, 3 fourths is at 0.75, so it's halfway between 0.7 and 0.8, so right there. Okay, 0.8 is going to be right there. Let's do that one. There's one half. There's one fourth is 0.25 and finally 0.4. And once you have them placed on a number line, then that tells you what the order they are. This is the smallest, this is the next smallest, all the way they just keep going up to the biggest right there. So there they are in order as decimals, but let's put them in order as uh, they have them right here, you guys, okay? So here they are. Whoops, I slid that up right there. So 0.2, then 0.25 is 1 fourth, 0.4, that's 1 half, that's 3 fourths, and then, and then that's 0.8 right there. Okay, let's do the same with this one. Okay, now since these are both fractions right here, let's change this to a fraction. So, so this 3, 5, this 5 ends in the hundredths, so it represents 35 hundredths. So there's 35 hundredths. Okay, that can reduce by dividing by 5, dividing by 5, and we get 7 twentieths right there. And then uh, now we'll use the denominators. We won't use a number line this time. We'll look at the denominators, 12, 3, and this 20 right there. And a common multiple of 12, 3, and 20 is 60. So let's make them all with uh, denominators of 60. So we'll find fractions with 60 as the denominators, and they'll be equivalent fractions. So 12 goes into 60 five times, so we'll multiply this one by 5 over 5. 3 goes into 60 uh, 20 times, so multiply it by 20 over 20, and this by 3 over 3. That way we get a denominator of 60 right there, okay? So now they all, all have a denominator of 60. Now we can order the fractions uh, by comparing the numerators. Once they have common denominators, we can recognize this is the smallest denominator, this is the next smallest, and this is the largest one right here. So that tells me that 1 12th is the smallest, 7 20th is the next smallest, which is that 0.35, and then 2 thirds is the biggest one right there. Okay, so there they are in order right there. Okay, all right, you guys, let's keep going. So uh, we can use a number line to compare and order positive and negative rational numbers. So here's an example. Five friends compete a triathlon that include a three-mile run, a 12-mile bike ride, and a one-half-mile swim. To compare their running times, they created a table that shows the difference between each person's time and the average time, with negative numbers representing less than the average. Okay, so they want a, a less. So it looks like um, uh, Mary did the best, and Alex did the second best, and. And no offense, but Tina was a little bit slowest, and if my name was up here, it would be way over here at the very farthest right. I'd be a lot slower than everybody else's. So we're going to use a number line to order the numbers from least to greatest, okay? And so this represents the, diff the difference from their average time, okay? So let's uh, go ahead and plot one half. Um, uh, we'll convert uh, the fractions to decimals, so one half is 0.5, and negative one and one fourth is negative one. 0.25. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the number line to write those decimals in order. There's uh, one half right there. Okay, and then 1.4. So here's 1.5. So here's 1.4 right there. Okay, negative one and one fourth is the same as negative 1.25. So here's negative one. Here's negative 1.1. Negative 1.2. Here's negative 1.3. So negative 1.25 would be right there. 
okay, and then negative 2, and then finally 1.95 right there, all right? And to put those numbers in order, there they are from least to greatest. Okay, you guys, I know that was fast, but I hope that made sense. Take care.